So we're gonna make the hanging basket compost now guys. Some people just buy hanging basket compost and just use that. I like to make my make my own. So I've got one here, multi-purpose compost. And it's really fine and I find this really helps with drainage. So I'm gonna put about one part of that. And this one here, a very well-known brand, as you can see. It's got all the nutrients. But what I find is, if I use just this one on its own, it gets a little bit tight and drainage is not that great and the roots don't grow that well. So, here we go. We're gonna do one part in my little mixer here, as you can see. And then three parts of this. So one, two, three. So 25%, nope, wrong one, hold on. This one, trying to record. And another one. So three scoops of that, one scoop of that. And then what I'm gonna do is really get in there and just give it a really, really good mix. Okay, you can use a trowel or a hand fork or something. But what I like to do is do that and really break it all up. And that's ready for my hanging baskets and containers as well. So I just show you where the plants are. They've been climatizing in the greenhouse. So I, I, I cheat a bit. The sound, the volume and the sound might sound different now, guys. So here we are, have a look. So what I've done is with the greenhouse, I've cheated a little bit. I get the plants to grow a bit quicker and you just have an earlier display than if you didn't have the greenhouse effect, okay? We've got trailing petunia here, normal. We've got really tiny trailing petunia here. There's tiny little flowers. We've got trailing fuchsia. I've got the lobelia outside and this is trailing geranium. And I've got another plant here, I forget the name of it, but this is gonna go in the center at the top cause it's an upright one. Hopefully, every year the aim is just to have a better display than the last year. That's the main aim, guys. It's like a little person at a sweet shop. Come, select what you want, pick and mix, and make your own little basket. Let's do this. This is my one, really large. And this is a friend's, slightly smaller. I'll do one of each and I'll show you how I do it. I did do it last year, but then I got injured and I sort of lost interest and felt sorry for myself and I let everything just go downhill. But hopefully this year, I'll show you how the result is. So this is the smaller one and you get a pot like this. Just check and while we're work working on it, we can work all the way around. It just helps it keep it off the ground. There we are. All right, now time to take all these clips off. There's our mixture of compost, the mixture we made. Fill up to the holes. Give it a gentle press, just a gentle one, all the way. And we're ready to put the first batch of plants in. So. There's a bit of design involved. You've got to have an idea. You can just do anything you want, but people will be able to tell it's just been all thrown in together. See that? That's beautiful root system. So what am I going for? I'm not going to put plant in every single one of these holes because I'm going to miss every other one. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to put lobelia in here and another lobelia in here and here I'm going to have a plant on top and it's going to cascade down to fill that hole up. I find if you try and fill out every single hole, the basket gets overpopulated and they're all competing and fighting for each other. So it's easy, you put it in there, rest it on the edge, you get your clip, mesh, make sure you're not grabbing any part of the plant or squish the arteries, done, that's it. Beautiful. I think it's going to be an awesome display this year, guys. So this one I'm just going to fill like so. And these are trailing mixed lobelia. 
I find they're really nice for the base. Now you see for this hole, you'll get compost falling out here. So I'm just gonna go grab a piece of plastic or a piece of paper. Just get some untreated paper. Which is a good few layers and just put it in there and that's going to keep the soil back but it's breathable water can get in and out and just fill all right guys so i'm just going to work my way around work the soil into the little gaps in between the plants and just give it a bit firming but not too hard So this particular friend, he likes fuchsias a lot. So I've got two fuchsias there, trailing, and I've got trailing geranium as well. So, I'm gonna put them in, opposite and over the paper. There, there, and there, like so. And in the middle, we've got our upright centerpiece. There we are, that's it. Time to plant. And now for the centerpiece, guys. So, dig some of the soil out. I'm going to put it to the empty spaces here. And here's our upright centerpiece. In the past, I've used marigold and other plants. But the one in the middle, you want to go up. Just firm all the soil back gently. Make sure that the root ball is nicely in the soil. If you find anywhere there's a little bit of a low dip, add a bit more soil. In a couple of weeks time guys, you will find this soil sinks in because all the pockets and everything else as you water will settle. You might need to give you a top up of wherever you see is low with a little bit more compost. Make sure the compost is nice and fine, just like I did before, break it up. Just loosen it up, ready, so it just, it just fits around the parts much easier. And that's done guys. So, I'll just show you, I'll pick it up carefully, and just show you, there we are. So, you see the, tilt it here, you see there's a gap here, that one. That will cascade down and cover that one. This plant will fill up more than half of this. So this will actually go over the lobelia and look nice. So just show you the top. There we are. So there's four plants on top, three, so seven altogether in this tiny. This is a 12 inch basket. Now this is my one guys, it's 16 inch. And you can see, i show you, you see these guys. You can put plants in them, but plants, there's hardly any training plants that I've seen grow healthy, almost vertical down. Most plants like to come and then make an arc shape. So I find these holes are actually a bit pointless. Um, any plants you do put them there, they don't do that well. Also, they end up getting too wet and these are just right. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got four at the bottom, I'm gonna block them all off, and I've got eight in the upper, and I'm gonna block four, so every other one. And do exactly the same, where there's a paper, have a plant coming over, and so on. So what I need is, I'm gonna use four lobelias around the side, and four plants on the outside, and a centerpiece, so four, four, nine. I need nine plants. Because it's a bigger hanging basket, I've gone for a bigger pot to rest on. something to tell you guys these bas this basket is over 14 years old when I first bought them they were really new obviously a new invention and they were quite dear so for a pair I paid 15 pounds 15 years that's a pound each if they broken now but they still got most probably another 50 years of life so it's an investment 
the price has come down of this because loads of people have made knockoffs and cheaper versions and other alternatives so it's worth it you don't need any lining you don't need any mesh anything at all it's just brilliant absolutely so easy and when the plant grows it completely covers the plastic you don't see it at all I will show you Hmm, what shall I have? I think I'll have one of you, one of you, one of you, and one of you. I have one of you. Now, what else shall I have? Hmm, I think I'll have this one. I think I'll have... One of you and one of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got my nine plants. Let's go. This one's a bit heavier guys, so just gotta be careful. So this is my one, there you go. And there's the top. So five, four, nine parts. The last job to do now guys is water little by little. Let it soak in. Don't try to water it all in one go. Or else it's just gonna wash away all the compost so little there so little by little keep an eye on it and don't let these guys dry out don't give them too much cold or too much direct sunlight in one go they have to get established they've just had a shock of their life and what I like to do is I like to put these guys in the greenhouse for one to two weeks so it just gives them a little bit more extra protection and here we go couple of small tips guys if you see for example this geranium here flower just nip them off because you want the plant to be nice and bushy keep an eye on it so that's what I would do any little flowers about to come out all gone and one final bit you don't have to do this just as a caution because the next two days it's going to get quite cold in the UK at night time so I'm just going to give this fleece garden fleece think of it as like a duvet for your plants and I'm extra cautious so I'm going to give two layers during the day I'll open the greenhouse door and I'll take the fleece cover off all right guys thanks very much keep an eye on these see how it comes along much love and respect bye for now Hi guys, I want to share with you something. I've had chickens, they die, get old and die. But this little robin, you see right in the center of the screen over there with the black pots? Hold on, I've got no mic, no setup here. There he is. He just follows me around in the garden when I'm around. But recently he's been keeping on coming into this really untidy potting shed. And today I worked out why. I've got open straw packet of open straw there that I use for my strawberries just over there and he's been helping himself but generally he just flies around the garden and just follows me around see if he gets too shy oh he's a bit scared now there we are there he is all right you get your straw mate I'm leaving okay yeah.